Okay, this is new. Uh, when all six of these stones are gathered, the gate leading to the world of evil shall be opened. Now you must go to Greenwood, where the next stone awaits you. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and save also. Oh, I did not save after the last one, by the way. Luckily, all I did was walk up the stairs and into the painting. And then I realized that I was dumb. You actually don't have to walk all the way out. Because you can, like, warp from this, like, uh, save spot or whatever. Uh, you can go to, uh, any one of these you want. Hold on, let me, uh... Okay. Um... Yeah, you can go to, uh, wherever you want to from, uh, this thing. Does this mean that there aren't gonna be that many, like, places to teleport to or from? Yeah, because that, uh, save place only has, like, three, like, possible, like, places to go. Um, okay, so it's said to go to Greenwood. I got, like, a thing, so did, did that, like, activate... Like, a path forward for me to, like, go to or something? Like, that didn't seem to, like, activate anything. It just said where I need to go, but it didn't, like, say... Like, how to get there. Or where it is, even. I don't know, man. I kind of wish this guy wouldn't have given this, like message about the treasure being nearby because I can't freaking find it I even tried like mashing on every tile just in case you do actually have to mash in case I was wrong about oh, wait what about this oh I can't go to I can't reach that one oh wait the kid like walked out are you following me I will not tell you where our treasure is okay 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 so I gotta go out and like reset it and actually follow him he'll probably lead me to it Okay, well, I'm glad I figured that out relatively quickly. I'm guessing I have to go to, uh, oops, not that one. I probably gotta go, uh, to the, uh, save place. To, uh, to, like, reset it or whatever, because the, uh, the screen doesn't transition when you, like, go into a house. Man, I hope this is it. Okay, how long does it take? There we go. Boy, how would you figure that out if not accidentally? Okay. Oh, I just probably have to go... Oh, I thought maybe I had to go like where he was standing, maybe? Uh, okay, now what? Do I have to look down upon him from above or something? Uh, nope. Alright, kid, I need you to, like, do something, dude. As long as it want me to wait. Like, it's not gonna Grapefruit Falls me, is it? What about the plant? Maybe the plant knows. Maybe the plant will tell me. When it comes to this kind of thing, it's always possible that, like, any, like, new piece of dialogue could be potentially, like, activating a flag that will make someone else say something different that could potentially be, like, the thing for progress, you know? Oh, god dang it. Well, it's not the case this time. Dude, I waited for, like, a full minute. So, like, what could that possibly be? Like, that's, uh, that's like, so tantalizing. Like, that has to be it. But that guy is, like, cock-blocking me. He's, like, not... He's not coughing up the goods, man. Uh, okay, well, let's just meet back when I find it. Because I don't know how long this is going to take. Be sure to check underneath all of the tulips. Boy may have hidden something under one. Okay. He thought that no one was watching, but I saw him. Okay, so I think that's a uh, new message. I was down here, wasn't I? I was. Okay, so did this tulip give a new message? Or was that the same message? Or did I somehow forget to talk to him altogether? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I did not talk to that guy before. Okay, so if I stand right where he was... God damn it, no! 
I gotta talk to this freaking dude that freaking talks forever. Okay, Jesus, boy, that sure is costly. Well, I had to talk to the guy, the jewel guy, that takes like a thousand years to get through all his text. And then not only that, but then when I get sent back or whatever, it puts me in the bottom left corner of the uh, of the map or whatever. So I had to walk all the heckin' way back around again. Oh, I did talk to the uh, goat. I gave him the uh, goat food again. He just says the uh, the uh, the way to get into the painting. Oh, by the way, if you talk to the painting without the um without the uh, dream uh, rod or whatever. It just says the painting has returned to normal. Okay, well, this isn't like doing anything. Okay, well, since I have to wait for like a hundred years, wait, he went he went out like right away that time. Maybe you just have to get a certain like distance away from him. Yeah, so you just get that message when you, like, step up to it. Oh, balls, man. Okay, well... Maybe now that I talk to the tulip, maybe now... Something will happen. Okay, well, I don't know what else to do except, like, wait. Maybe if I wait long enough, something will eventually happen. Maybe now, like, when he's standing there, maybe now I have to go and talk to this other tulip? Also, Tulip should not have an apostrophe right there. Okay, well, I guess I'll just wait and see if he moves, because I don't know what else to do, and I'm stuck again. Freaking sucks that we started this whole, like, the first part of this episode is just stuckness. But I guess we'll get unstuck eventually, so I guess we'll just meet back when I when I figure it out. Okay, I think I figured figured it out. I bet you, like, this is actually telling me literally what to do. I didn't read this correctly. I gotta check all the tulips. It literally told me word for word. But when it said all the tulips, I thought it meant the one that he's, like, standing next to. But he probably hit it under one of these, like, other ones that's, like, further away. Um, what about this one? Thomas began to hear a small voice. What? There was once a water mill here before the village was destroyed. I hear there is a man in the mill who runs the elevator in the underground castle. Okay, well, that's old. I don't need that. Okay, there was this one over here also. I'm pretty sure I just talked to this guy. I know I talked to that guy. I know I, I talked to this guy. Tells you what to do with the dream rod. Oh, what about the one to the left of the house with the painting? Let me talk to this guy just to be sure, even though I know even though I know I already talked to this guy. When you start getting desperate, you gotta start like doing the things that you like already know you did just to like completely like rule them out, you know? Okay, well the only other tulip was the uh one that's like up shmia. It has to be this one. God damn it, it wasn't this uh this one either. Is this a new message, by the way? No, this is uh This is in the uh the like the dock area. It's telling you how to get the rod, because that was the chest that had the rod in it. And I need a pass to get in there, okay. Man, I'm completely stumped. I have, um... Uh... Wait, what, are the, what was the last part of that? Oh, what, am I, what my mother is doing now. Okay, yeah, I, I already knew that. Um, yeah, I have this uh, Let's Play from someone... Like, I have the videos of someone else's Let's Play that I'm like wanting to watch, but obviously I didn't want to watch it until I did my let's play of it. But, um, God dang it. All these people just say the same thing. So anytime like I get stuck, I'm, I'm gonna be like curious now if he like got stuck at the same place. 
Because I've watched, there have been times where I'll, where I'll watch, um, oh, I can move? Does move just take me to the green place? God damn it! Are you kidding me? Okay, so we do have like a world map. I just had to hit move. That's what I had to do this whole time. God damn it. Okay, well, I figured it out. <laughs> well, they were like giving me clues and making it seem like, uh, like I had to do stuff in that other place. Then this looked like the place in, uh, Final Fantasy, is it five? Or was it Mystic Quest? I don't remember. Oh, look, a treasure. Okay, well, we're making progress. Yay. The bad news is that I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, uh, there's always that part of me that, like, wonders if, um, other Let's Players get stuck at the same places that I get stuck at. Oh, I was saying that, um, there have been games where I'll watch multiple Let's Plays of, and it is interesting to see other people, like, different people get, like, stuck at different places. Like, there'll be a place where someone will get, like, super duper duper, like, stumped, and then another person will get, like, not stumped at all. Like, they'll figure it out, like, right away without even, like, thinking too hard. But then, like, the other guy will, like, rack his brains and be, like, totally at a loss. Uh, there's a, there's a, there is a spot in Earthbound. I won't say what it is, but those of you that played Earthbound might know what I'm talking about. Uh, there's a character that gives the line something like, like, what have you got there? Let me take a real close look. And some people are like, okay, and then they figure it out right away. And other people lose their goddamn minds trying to figure it out. Huh, I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure it took me a while to figure it out. But I'm pretty sure I did not have to look it up. I probably went to the hint guy. And then the hint guy said what to do. And then it's possible that I just did it, like, accidentally. Like, I might have, like, accidentally, like, did it correctly. Released a bird. Okay, so we have another, like, new area. There's, like, a thing where you have to do a certain thing in a certain way. And then, like, upon returning, I might have, like, accidentally, like, done it the correct way or something. I don't know. I don't want to go into, like, more detail. I don't want to, like, spoil it. Yeah, freaking Earthbound, man. Whenever I watch Let's Plays, whenever I get to the end of the game... It always freaking pisses me off when people spoil the ending. Not the ending, but like stuff like about like the end of the game, you know? There's like a there's like a thing. There's always that one guy that just can't keep his fucking mouth shut and always has to like say like what to do. And I watched uh somebody do like a full I watched like a VOD of somebody doing like a full stream of it. They got close to the end. There's people that know the game. And it's like a VOD, so I can't tell the people to, like, shut the fuck up in real time. But, uh, yep, sure enough. And then I always feel bad for the streamer. Like, the streamer has to, like, sort of, like, pretend, like, maybe they didn't, like, see the thing that, like, tells them what to do. And then they have to, like, pretend like they, like, sort of figured it out on their own. But then again, like, you don't actually know. Like, maybe they actually didn't see the message that, like, spoiled it or whatever. But there is that little bit of... Like, that little bit of, like... Like, they don't want to necessarily, like, let everyone know that it got spoiled. Like, one, they don't want to make the person feel bad that spoiled it, even though they should feel bad for spoiling it. But then they also don't want to, like, ruin it for the other people. Like, they don't want the other people to, like... To, like, know that it... That they saw the message that spoiled it, you know? then if they because otherwise it could at least be ambiguous if nothing else you know to be like well maybe they didn't see the message like they almost want the rest of the audience to just to just uh think that maybe they didn't see it you know the spoiling the spoiler message these kind of look like like uh like frumpy dumpy versions of the uh of those, like, uh, those things from Animal Crossing. What were they called? Were they actually called gyros, or are they pronounced heroes? G-Y-R-O's? Little dancing, uh, statue dudes? Yeah, I did play the first Animal Crossing game. I don't know, I thought those things were cool. So I made it a point to try to, like, collect... 
uh, to like collect all of those, but there was just like so many and then eventually they were like taking up all the space in my house. So, I mean, I got that game on my 19th birthday. And uh, so it's been a long time since I played it, but I'm pretty sure like, can't you have like a basement? It eventually got to the point where like my basement was just like filled with those stupid things. It's like, well, what's the point of like collecting stuff if you don't have enough room to like have all of the things in a set, you know? I'm not 100% sure. Like, I might be misremembering that, but. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought the first Animal Crossing game was fun, but. Like, all the subsequent games, I'm guessing it's just like more of the same, right? Okay, I've been like talking and playing, so let me just make sure that I've been like thorough. Like, th is this like the very first screen? Like, I'm pretty sure I would not have tra uh, transferred or trans. Uh, transitioned the screen if I hadn't uh, like thoroughly checked all of one area. Yeah, but this guy reappeared. This guy might not be associated with a monster generator thing though. Wait, how did that not hit him? Went all the way through him. Yeah, so there might there might just be some enemies that just like respawn like normally that are not associated with the uh, with the monster generator situation. Hopefully that that's the case. Hopefully I don't have to go around and kill them all. Like whenever I transition the screen, like hopefully I don't have to go back. Okay, well, I was not expecting to go to, like, an indoor section of this place. Okay, so is this, like, a pushy? Uh, nope. Oh, that's, uh, staircase. I got startled, startled a little bit. Because I thought I was going to, like, try to, like, walk. I was just, like, going to test to see if I could walk into that hole. But then it made, like, a sound effect. Like, right as I, like, press the button towards it or whatever. Man, they get a lot of iframes. Oh, also, by the way, I did see in the description, it does give a, uh... Or when you go into, like, the item menu, it does give a full description. It says that it restores your HP when your health reaches zero. So it does actually tell you that it's like an auto revive. I probably should run back and heal. God damn it. Okay, well, let's run back and heal. Oh, wait, I don't need to. Apparently, I have a thing. I thought that I used it. I didn't uh, realize that I grabbed another one. Yeah, I was just thinking. I was like, why didn't I grab another freaking herb when I was, like, in town? I must have grabbed it at some point without realizing it. Okay, so don't swing. God damn it. You have to wait for him to extend his jam. Wow. You know, it is a little creepy that his extender thing has like a hand at the end of it. <laughs> uh, released a squirrel, okay. Small voice is coming from a hole. Oh, I'm starving. If someone can bring me something to eat, I will exchange this powerful sword with them. Wow. Yeah, that reminds me when I was a little kid. I was in like, was it first or second grade? I don't know. I was really, I was really little. Um, I was in a play and uh, I was living in Germany at the time. I think it's a story that's like popular in Germany. 
but I haven't ever heard about it. Like, I haven't heard it in the States ever. Like, it's not like a story that you ever hear about in the United States. So maybe it's like not told in the States or whatever. But uh, it was this, it was about this, um, this like king that had like two daughters and then one of them was gonna uh, like become the queen or something. Or there were two, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's the classic case of, uh, the, well, I don't remember all the details. The point is that there's like two, there's like two like people and one of them's gonna be the queen they're, and they're like sisters. And one of them is like very like modest and humble and nice. And then the other one is like already like letting the power like go to their head even though they're not the queen yet. And then like the moral of the story, as you may guess, that the person who thought they were gonna become the queen ends up not becoming the queen and like the modest, humble, nice one becomes the queen. And it's like, oh, life lesson, you know. Um, wait, why can't I walk through that? What the heck? But uh, the part that I played, I played a, uh, I played like a starving boy that uh, basically just like begs for food. And then the uh, and then the person's like, "How dare you like stand in my way? I'm gonna be your queen or whatever." And is like insulted by my like presence or whatever, you know. But it was weird because like at a young age, uh, because I was like a starving homeless boy, that I was sort of in like like uh, I don't exactly remember what it was, but it was kind of like like a loincloth sort of. So I was like almost like naked, like on a stage. Like, in front of, like, in front of, like, a lot of people at a young age. And, like, nobody ever, like, asked if I was, like, okay with that. But, you know, like, as a kid, you don't have any, like, agency. So, like, people tell you to do stuff and you just, like, do it, you know? Oh, so, yeah. So, I mean, I do, like, sort of remember being, like, like, this is, like, this is, like, not a lot of clothes to be wearing. Like, I, like, I have, I have way less clothes on than, like, everyone else in this play, you know? So I was definitely, like, not, like, 100%, like, gung-ho about it, you know? Oh, which then makes me wonder. I forget if I, you know, I probably talked about this, this at some point, but I've made so many videos that the odds of someone hearing me talk about something and then hearing me talk about it again are probably so low. I just, uh, I just hit 2,600 videos the other day, so I got an F load of videos. So I'm, I'm kind of at the point where it's like, if I remember talking about something, if it was like five years ago, I could, I'm probably good to just say it again, you know? But uh, it could be one of those, um, one of those like childhood things or whatever, where it sort of like messes you up. Because I noticed that, um, that w when we moved back to the States, when I was seven, I received experience, cool. Uh, wait, can I uh, save from here? I can only stay or go back. I can't save. And also, she did not heal me. I thought that they healed me. Oh, it's only the main dude that heals you, I think, right? But uh, it might be one of those, like, childhood things where it, like, messes you up for life. Because I noticed that when, uh, when we came back to the States, um, my parents, uh, enrolled me in, like, sw uh, swimming lessons. And I did not feel comfortable, uh, like, taking my shirt off. So I was like the one, I was like the one boy, oh man, a medical herb, that's actually clutch. So I was like the one boy that took swimming lessons with his shirt on, and like I wasn't even like fat. I released a mole, okay. So I think it like messed me up and made me like self-conscious about like showing like my stomach. Uh, a voice is calling from, is calling Thomas from the hole. I'm a creature who brings light to darkness, I will help you upon your return, okay. Uh, okay, go into the hole, okay. Was there another character that said the exact same thing earlier? And we still got two in here. Did I overlook them? Oh man, should I go back and look for these uh, last two things? I might have missed them. Oh, hello. Maybe they're up here since I didn't kill these guys. Oh, wait, no, I did kill these guys. I just transitioned the screen so they respawned. Oh, there's one right, one right there. 
Did I come across ones where dudes were not coming out of? I don't remember. Oh, God damn it! all these guys reappeared. Well, there's no, like, indication of where they're going to pop up from. Wait, this is, uh, this is a legit one. How come I didn't get, I uh, get, uh, this one, like, last time? Boy, th these ones are actually, like, sort of hard to hit. I got gems for days. Might as well. Sometimes your shot just doesn't, like, register with those guys. Like, I passed by this area, right? Like, how the heck did I not kill all the guys? Like, why did I just, like, pass by it or whatever? Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh, man. Okay, come on. I mean, I know that I do have a medical herb, but, like, I don't want to, like, waste it. Come on, how many are there? But uh, it might be one of those like things where it like traumatized me at, like on some level. To where now I'm like, to where like now I, I'm like self-conscious about like my stomach. Which in all fairness, um, God, fuck. Um, I don't know what it is, but like the members of my family, dude, there's like a thousand of them. I think it comes from my dad's side. But we all have like, um, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say like a large stomach, but like, but like we do sub like we do, we do sort of have like, um, but yeah, I don't know. We just like have like a large, like abdominal, abdomen area. Like I'm sort of like barrel chested, even though like I'm not like fat at all. Okay. So I did that, but there's still one more. There's still one more here, too. What the heck? Oh, there's going to be another area up there, I bet. But then again, maybe I just missed it. From uh, from this area. Maybe there was a way to, like, go up higher. No, there is not. Okay, we're going to come back to this uh, floor. God. You know what? Since we're here, I'm going to go all the way back out and do a full heal. We're at an episode anyway. So um, I'll run back and heal and make a save state. And we'll... Uh, actually, let me make a save state here. Uh, just in case. Um, but I'll make a save state and we'll start back at the furthest point or whatever. And um, and we'll pick it up from there. So that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.